I got another craving again. Sliders are a must have on every Super Bowl platter, so I started with those. I followed those up with some Wingstop wings. If you're not eating wings on Super Bowl Sunday, you're just doing it wrong. Next, another classic, mozzarella sticks. And then it was time for the all new flaming Hot Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell. And then I decided to go for another classic, pizza. We love our pizza on Super Bowl Sunday. You know what we Americans also love on Super Bowl Sunday? Nachos. I decided that the centerpiece of this cravings platter was going to be a massive pile of delicious cheesy nachos with a sprinkle of pico de gallo for some extra veggies. I followed that up with some potato skins for some complex carbs, and this platter just needed some more fried goodness, so I got some KFC tenders. I also added in some mac and cheese, and then it's time for our grand finale. Cupcakes. All the cupcakes. Everyone, this cravings platter is about to be a straight touchdown. Alrighty, everybody, can we just take a moment, folks, to just admire this? We've got wings from Wingstop, pizza, sliders, the all new Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Tacos, potato skins, KFC, mac and cheese, a mountain of nachos, and of course, I needed some sweetness, so I got some cupcakes. A few months ago, I did the last cravings platter challenge, and you all seem to absolutely love it. So I'm back for round number three, and I just gotta say right now, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I will bring back the cravings platter for round number four. So drop a like down below if you haven't already. Anyways, everyone, I am starving <laughs> and this looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to get straight into it. Without further ado, everyone, this is the Ultimate American Super Bowl Cravings Platter Challenge. Let's do this. Before you get started, you know what you got to do. Go ahead and give the video a like if you haven't approved today. Before we get started, I'm actually gonna do something I did a few videos ago. A few of you loved it, so I'm bringing it back. I'm gonna go ahead and put a list of numbers on the screen right now, one through nine. Each number is gonna correspond to one food item that I have on this platter. And to keep things interesting, I'm gonna let a random number generator pick what I eat instead of me being able to pick what I eat. I don't know, it just spices things up. I really hope I don't get the cupcake first because I'm gonna need some sweetness to balance all this sodium out. What's first? All right, number eight's the mac and cheese. Perfect, I can do that. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. All right, mac and cheese is down. KFC mac and cheese is actually highly underrated. All right, what's next? Number one is the pizza. Perfect. Perfect. That actually reminds me. I forgot something very important. You guys know, I had to bring out the wow sauce. Pizza and wow sauce just go together like spaghetti and meatballs, all right? It's an essential. <clears throat> all right, well the pizza is down. That pizza was actually amazing. Now what's next? What is next? Number two. Two, now we got the wings. All right, these are actually the, the items I'm most looking forward to. And you know, you guys gotta comment down below, what's your favorite thing to eat on Super Bowl, all right? If you don't live in America and you don't watch the Super Bowl, well, it's like the second most gluttonous day of the entire year for us. And most people eat wings on Super Bowl. I gotta say, I'm a wings guy. That's just the way I roll. And since I got these wings from Wingstop, I'm gonna be having them with Wingstop's Ranch. Wingstop's Ranch just, it just, oh, it's so good. Mm. W. Oh. Wow. I gotta say, I wasn't a fan of Wingstop's wings at first, but it's been a few years, and I gotta say, they've come along. They are actually pretty flavorful. Mm. All right, everybody, well, the wings are down. Those were amazing, wow. Everything has been absolutely sensational so far. Now what's next? Tenders, I can go for the tenders. Now we're gonna move on over to our KFC. Now I should let you all know, I was actually gonna put these in between two waffles and make like chicken waffle sliders, but I couldn't find any mini waffles. So we just have tenders.
All right, well, our chicken tenders are down. So far, it's going good. Um, hey, yeah, let's move on to the next item. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, I just, sometimes I just, I can't really think because I have tons of calories and sodium and fat inside of my body. All right, what's next? Number six, our potatoes. Before I get to these though, I'm actually really curious. Who are you going for in the Super Bowl? Are you for the Rams or the Bengals? I know some of you are gonna ask me who I'm going for and neither of those teams are teams that I actually support. So I can't really say which team I'm going for. Anyways, I think we can jazz these up a bit though. Typically potato skins come with sour cream on them, but we can just substitute the sour cream for some ranch and some wild sauce. Oh, that gets too far. Mm. That bacon, that cheese. <clears throat> Right, potato skins are down. Good thing I'm getting my complex carbs in with those potatoes. Goodness, I get those veggies. Number five. It's time for the nachos. The biggest part of this platter. I'm gonna go from the nacho cheese Dorito side first. Let's get a necessary amount of nacho cheese and uh, our healthy vegetables with their onions and tomatoes. That is cheese central. Working our way through the nachos. I was actually gonna do this with regular tortilla chips, but I figured, you know what? Let's do some Doritos. And then I was like, Cool Ranch versus nacho cheese. I just got both. Which one do you guys like better? All of my OGs will know I'm a Cool Ranch person. Oh my goodness. All right, well, that sodium just. Oh man, that just, that just hit me. Woo! That is not gonna feel good tomorrow morning. Mm. This kind of takes me back to last year when I ate the world's unhealthiest tray of nachos. That was brutal. Right, now that I've eaten like five years worth of cheese in one sitting, I think it's time to move on over to the the next item. By the way, I forgot to make note of the uh, mozzarella sticks because I forgot about them underneath the giant pile of nachos. So I'm just gonna eat them whenever I please. What's next? Tacos. All right, now it is time to move over to our Taco Bell tacos. These just came out. Let's see if they're gonna be good. I'm gonna let you guys know if these are worth it or if they're not worth it. All right, let's try it out. Ow. I wanna like it, but I just ate a ton of nachos, so I'm gonna say not worth it. Tacos are down. Looks like we have our cupcakes, our sliders, and our mozzarella sticks left. What are we gonna get next? What are we gonna get next? Number three. I'm assuming that's gonna be our sliders. Yep. Slider, mozzarella stick, and some wild sauce. And you know what, if you guys have made it up to this point in the video, just go ahead and comment down below, slider. Because I'm eating some sliders right now. to react because I've eaten seven days worth of sodium without any sugar at all and uh, I just really looking forward to eating this. My face is just about to get all kinds of messed up so don't judge me all right. <clears throat> I dedicate these cupcakes to you guys. I love you guys. Mm. 
just like that, everybody. That has been another cravings challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there, along with the total macros. Those will be right up there as well. That entire platter was amazing. Like I mentioned earlier, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll bring back the cravings platter for part number four. So if you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button. I'm gonna go ahead and put another Super Bowl challenge in mind that I think you're gonna enjoy right along the sidebar, along with another food challenge playlist that I have. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and you love food challenges. Once again, thanks for watching this food challenge and I'll see you all in the next one.